Hello, 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 and welcome back to Plans on Planning. Here we are in my personal planner, and it's October. Like, I cannot believe it. It's freaking crazy, but it is October. So, that means we have to get this ready and in order so we can make sure October looks good. And to do that, we're going to have some stickers, we're going to have some washi, but here's the washi that I'm using. I think it's super cute and super fun. And then I have tons of stickers for my different sticker books, but we got to get rid of this October first and foremost. Now, let's get to washing. I am leaving this O here because it's actually on the plastic. So, I'm not going to kill myself. I just want to see if I can. Yeah, I'm not going to kill myself trying to wipe it out. I mean, granted I did, but whatever. All right, let's just get some washing on this page. So, I have this super cute glasses washi that I actually got from Hobby Lobby. I think it's completely, totally, utterly adorbs. Thank you very much. So, what I'm going to do, because of where my tab is for October, I'm actually going to take the time and line it up correctly, or as correctly as I can get. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it loose to go across... This way, if I create any bubbles, I can go ahead and rub them out, smush them out. There we go. Yes, it's adorable. I love it. Now, this washi is actually kind of waxy, so I'm not 100% sure that it'll tear. Yeah, I didn't think it would. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it. I had it too close yeah, to the rings, so it got kind of funky, but that's okay. I'm just pushing it down. All right, and now I'm going to put it on the other side. Just as close to the rings as I can get, not making it super sticky. Oh, gosh. All right, there we go. So many things going on over here. All right. And then I'm just going to cut it again. There we go. Bam. Perfect. All righty. And... This is the washi that I'm using uh, for framing out my weeks. Now, this washi, as you can see, is super thin. It's a washi that I bought on Amazon. And it has tape. Holding it down. There we go. And I'm just going to cut it to get this tape off. And I'm going to put it right under my days of the week. I kind of want to get rid of that line that it comes with. So I am putting it a little over it. Oh, it broke too soon. All right. So what I'm going to do is just fill that in. Oh, gosh. And then use my scissor. Better safe than sorry is how I'm feeling right now with these washies. All right, it's still not breaking. I'm going to leave it. Because what happens is when you're pulling washi too much, like it moves. And... It starts to bend out of shape. So that's something I definitely want to avoid. So that's why I don't force washi at all, to be honest. So 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it right on the line. I'm just going a little by little. The swatchy also winds up being perfect for the sides here because you know they're super thin. Now, besides Halloween being in October, this is also when a lot of the um, new planners come out for the next year. So, I have been doing a lot of thinking as to the different type of planners that are going to be available, you know, the layouts and things like that. Just comparing it to everything that I've been experiencing this year, um, 2018. So I'm toying with the idea of actually changing my planner layout. I have been with this horizontal layout for almost three years now. And I'm wondering if maybe, just maybe, I should try a vertical layout. And the fact that I have various different planners that I use, it does allow me to toy with the idea because it's not like an all or nothing thing. So I could use like the vertical layout in one of my planners and the horizontal layout in another planner. And you know, if I don't like it, I'm only stuck with it for a year to be honest. So I'm gonna go right up the side. So that is something that we will talk about in the very near future. I do also, I realize that just uh, so many things are geared towards the vertical layout. And that is another thing that kind of has me changing my tune and wanting to give the vertical layout a try. Honestly speaking, yes, it does push the limits of my creativity um, by going against the grain, truthfully speaking, but some days you just want it to be easy. Like there are no kits made for the horizontal layout, which I think kind of sucks. But I've learned to adapt them to what I need. Like I said, sometimes you just want to put some stickers down and not have to figure out the layout of things. Like I said, I am toying with the idea, but we can have that conversation in a little while. I'll have a video dedicated to just that. Planners and layouts. Alrighty, and here we go. Gracious, slip right out of my hand. easier to cut going this way. I think this turned out super 
super cute. So it's time to lay some stickers down. So, as normal, we're going to start with some bills. Actually, you know what? I don't care about the stupid bills this time around. Let's get some stickers down. So, first I have my watercolor stickers. And like I said, I like to go through and mark out the stickers that I want to use. So, I'm going to use those stickers. Um, I have these because we want to put the... It's the happy memory keeping stickers. I have Halloween, so we want to mark off Halloween and Columbus Day. Columbus Day is over here, so I'm going to mark off Halloween and Columbus Day. I'm just going to put that nicely at the top. I have some others that I want to use because I have a wonderful little vacation coming up um last weekend of the month so vacation and it's gonna start on a friday so we're gonna hit it with that friday how about that oh yeah so i wish i had a disney sticker because i'm actually going to a disney world but I'm sure we can draw that in. Alrighty. Yeah, let's draw in a little Mickey. So we have a nice little Mickey Mouse. Oh yeah. So we are hitting up Disney World. And the beginning of the month is starting out pretty freaking awesome because it's Miami Carnival. So we gotta get some props to that. I do actually just want to make a note just to pay these bills. Do I have like do it? Oh, we do have binge watching on here. What? Yes. All right. Anyway, so I have a busy weekend. Which would be this weekend. Okay, this is... Remember I was discussing before about how everything is kind of built for the happy planner or for the vertical layout? And that would include this. So, in a vertical layout, Saturday and Sunday are together. So, therefore, my busy weekend would include Saturday and Sunday, which is here. But, not so much. So, I have it like this. Oh, I went over a tag. Ah, it's Okay. Busy weekend, and then I'm gonna have a lazy weekend to be honest. Just really take some time for myself where I'm going to, yeah, let's find a show to binge watch. Yeah, I am going to find a show to binge watch, and I'm gonna eat pizza and wings all weekend. <laughs> to be honest, on my beautiful, lazy weekend. Yeah, sounds about right. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of... Yeah, well, I'll write it in. Binge watch here as well.
Yeah. Someone to put a little binge watching. Because, truthfully, I haven't actually had a quiet day to myself in a very, very long time. And the start of this is pumpkin spice season. So, nothing would make me happier than indulging in some pumpkin spice. I'm going to be baking wonderful, wonderful uh, treats. So let's... Throw me a little pumpkin. Uh, a little brown stem. There we go. Cute little pumpkin. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do to kick off the season. But I know I'm going to do something. I was thinking about pumpkin spice um, cinnamon rolls, which I'm super excited to make. And I think we might kick off the season with those. Oh, yeah. All right. So... We have a little best day ever. And I think that would kind of be like Disney World, but I'm going to put it here. So like tag Disney World. I want to be super positive. Today is your day. And a cute little hustle. Alrighty. I'm just taking out some other things that we can add. No, it's the best week ever. Oh, I like this. Follow your heart. out of my hand. I actually think it slipped pretty perfect, but it did slip out of my hand. Alright, there we go. Follow your heart. Alrighty. I'm looking for something to put in this area. I'm going to add life is better with friends because my best friend is coming down in November and this is the start of November. She's coming down to visit and we are just going to have so much fun being wild and crazy in November. So there we have it. Here is the start of my month. The start of things to come and things that are pretty darn awesome. I'm super excited and cannot wait. I just wanted to put that there. It says, every tiny, kind, heartfelt action can produce a big, awesome, grateful reaction. And I think that's pretty awesome to remember that the things you do affect people in different ways. And it may seem like something super small to you, but to somebody else, it's the bestest, biggest thing in the world. And that's pretty darn cool. All right. So, there we have it. This is the start of my October. I thank you all for joining me. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, go ahead and drop it below. If you feel more comfortable emailing me, please do so. And don't forget to follow me on social media so we can get to talking and chatting that way. I cannot, cannot, cannot wait to hear from you. Talk to you later. Bye.